Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, yeah, yeah, I took the hits, I took the bullets for all of y'all who wanted to throw them at me and shoot them um, about my last video about Joe Biden. And I think it's really important that Y'all understand that I'm not in love with Joe Biden, okay? And that is, uh, if you want to know the truth, I made the comments that I made because I really feel that to have fielded other candidates, we should have did it earlier. Y'all already know that my original loyalty was to Marianne Williams. And I really think that she's taking the world to a, a different way. Okay, but I'm not a fool. And I don't think that any woman, first of all, that is not part of the system or the corporate um, aspect of America will win. So I didn't think... Um, I mean, in terms of progressives, hell, you could get Nina Turner. But could you get the corporate uh, factor to get behind her and put that money behind her and do all that? Because all that's part of it as well. And I know that Joe Biden already got money in the coffers. I know he's already got donors that are willing to give. And it wasn't until the debate a week ago that made people say, what the, oh my God. I just don't know if it's too uh, late to feel uh, another candidate. Uh, but I'm open to listening. I mean, that's one of the things that we got to understand. We got to communicate. I just think it's a little too late. And it's almost like some of y'all again that say, Oh, I'm going to roll with my boy until the wheels fall off. Well, it's kind of like this is our choice. These two, and I know I don't want Trump. I just want to put my uh, support. Come on. I, uh, let me don't, don't even say that part because I don't want to turn nobody off. I want to lend my support to the candidate that I think is best. Um equipped to deal with this demagogue. Hell, Joe Biden run the country now. He's got a cabinet. So that's why I said what I said. But what solidified the craziness for me is that I hate to be pandered. I hate to be, I'm sorry, patronized. And I, um, whether a white person does it or a black person does it. Okay. All I know is when I see that kind of behavior, I know it's like you trying to take advantage of me. And you think I'm a fool. And the, you put the bar very low as if black people are so ignorant that we have to always go with fast. I mean, like, why would we allow, why did we allow the dominant society to think we did stupid? That all you got to have is Kamala Harris talking about, I'm out here, girl, in these streets, and Taraji. I mean, y'all is so damn disappointing. I was like, what the hell do you think this is? The dumb, dumb show? Y'all going to have to step up y'all game. Uh, and no, I don't want to see Kamala, because just for that alone, your ass does not deserve to be nothing. Okay. And this is, by the way, the same lady that said, let's make this perfectly clear. I'm not going to do anything that only benefits black people. I've been done with her. But that pandering stuff, she did it on the Breakfast Club, telling Charlemagne that she smoked ganja 
Now she turned around talking about, well, Taraji, you know, I'm out here in these streets. I'm done with that. And black people, y'all should be done with that too. You should be done with the Amos and Andy show. I mean, because that's what it's starting to feel like. The Amos and Andy show. And it needs to stop. You know, you need to put your best foot forward. And not this dumb caricature of behavior that somebody has allowed us to actually encourage us to act. You remember that movie, Robert Townsend? The Hollywood movie, Hollywood Shuffle? Amoeba don't begabba no money. Amoeba don't begab. No, no, no. Make it more black. Make it more black. That type of shit. It's very annoying. It's very disappointing. And it's it's a situation that makes you think that the majority of dominant society is comfortable going back. And given this Supreme Court ruling. Slavery is on the table, too, y'all. I did a video about that. I mean, I did it twice. I did it in a flashback a few months ago, and I'm doing it again now. Slavery is on the table, y'all. Wake up. Wake up. Okay? So, with that being said, we got a rogue Supreme Court that needs to be dismantled, sued, whatever. And then you got people waiting on deck. You got Clarence Thomas and Alito, all these people taking bribes and all this. All this. So is it the end of the Great Babylon? Is it? Because if it is, got to deal with that too. If not... You know, I mean, we got to think that this experiment, we don't, we don't, well, it was just an experiment. And maybe it is gone bad. Maybe it is at the point where there's no return. As all the other great empires have fallen. And um, just because of deeds alone of American society, um, why should the universe find favor with us? Somebody said, we're the most richest nation on the world. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. But we've also been the biggest liars on the planet Earth. We've been the biggest murderers on the planet Earth. We've been the biggest thieves on the planet. And I mean, that's what America has represented to the human family. What's it going to be? I don't know. I just know we it's some it's some crazy days coming ahead. And um, I do want the best representation, whatever that's worth. I just know I don't want to see Donald Trump and all these crazy people that, because they, they are not the Republican Party. They're a bunch of racists. And if y'all can't see that, you know, and then you're always going to have these people like uh, Sambo, Uncle Remus, uh, people like that. We always have. Massa, we sick. Massa, uh, they out there talking about you. We've always had these type of the uh, Byron Donald, McDonald's or whatever. We've had, always had these type. What's the other one name? Tim Scott. So, but like I said, when we get a nation of our own, we can deal with our traitors the way America deals with hers. And we will. But we got to stay fast first, y'all. And um, we got to think as a nation. Otherwise, this experiment is over. I don't want to sound like doom and gloom this morning, but that's where my head is at. That's my head space today. So I want to know what y'all think. Where y'all head space at? Um, I thank y'all for interacting with me, those of you who have. Um, those of you who also know that this is a very delicate time in our 
existence. Uh, I want to hear from y'all. Okay? So, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.